We all know and love Harry Potter, but the books and the films alone clearly were not enough to surprise fans because there are a lot of theories out there to do with the characters and events within the franchise. JK Rowling herself, the creator of the Fantastic series, has agreed with a lot of the fan-made theories and in today's video, I'm going to go over 10 of the ones that she has confirmed. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoy and subscribe to the channel and let us know as you could get a shout out at the end of the month. Just because you're allowed to use magic now does not mean you have to whip your wands out for everything! Number 1. Harry and Voldemort are mirrors of each other. Harry Potter and Voldemort are two totally different people. One of them does as much as they can to do good and the other turns to evil. They are meant to be a representation of the importance of our choices. They came from the same place and they could have both easily headed down the exact same path but we all know that Harry chooses to do good and Tom, well, unfortunately doesn't do the same. Harry doesn't let his backstory turn him into a hearted evil villain and instead accepts love and warmth in the moments where he is offered it and this is where the path splits. Harry your eyesight really is awful. Number two, is Voldemort capable of feeling love? We know that Tom Riddle did everything that he did because he was created under the power of a love potion and he was physically unable to feel love of any type. He was unable to feel empathy or get close to anybody and simply saw everyone around him as people he could manipulate to get where he wanted to be. You're the weak one and you'll never know love. Oh, friendship. Number three, was Hagrid supposed to survive? Hagrid was granted plot immunity in order to make it through the second wizarding war and it was confirmed by Rowling herself that he was giving immunity for the sheer purpose of carrying Harry to the school after Voldemort thought he killed him. This was in order to reflect the way that Hagrid carried Harry from the wreckage of his childhood home. Harry. Number 4. What's up with Hufflepuff? When it comes to sorting students into houses, there is a lot of debate within the fandom and many people have said that Rowling purposely gave Hufflepuff the shaft when it came to the series. When reading the books or watching the movies, you will notice that there are few important characters from this house and they are rarely involved directly with the plot. There's never visits to the common room and other characters often say that they are the worst house to be in. But Rowling took it to Twitter to say that she loves the house that is often ignored and it is actually her favourite one. We have to get back to the cup. Now! What are you talking about? Number 5. Would the Weasleys have made it? After fans noticed many elements from the first Wizarding War repeating themselves in the second one, many became nervous at the fact they were going to lose another set of parents, the Weasleys. According to Rowling though, this actually nearly did happen. Arthur was originally going to be cut out but she decided to take Lupin instead and left the Weasleys alone. Number 6. Was Ron insecure? Many fans feel that Ron struggled a bit throughout the series. As you know, Harry is the beloved chosen one and Hermione is purely brilliant at everything she does and all of Ron's siblings have their own little niche but he's just there and he doesn't really have anything special about him. He was always shoved aside and ignored quite a lot. It was confirmed when the locket came to life in the final and his deepest insecurities were revealed. Number 7. Did we attend Hogwarts? You can't really deny it. When reading the books or watching the movies, at one point you wish that you were a part of Hogwarts. You are not the only one because many fans that grew up with the Wizarding World waited for their letters, but other people believed that they had already attended Hogwarts with Harry so there was no need for them to receive their own letters. Rowling took to Twitter and confirmed this statement by saying, We all did attend Hogwarts alongside Harry and we were all lucky enough to grow up alongside him in the Hollow Halls. A simple thing that brought a real sense of happiness to fans. We're both of partners. Agreed? Agreed. Oh! Number 8. Was James Potter just a bully 
or was he a good guy? The Harry Potter fandom has a very difficult time deciding how they feel about James Potter, mainly because he has never really had a chance to show who he really is. The only time we get to see him is through characters' memories, and of course, memories aren't always what they seem to be. He is shown by the individual's feelings towards him. Snape treats him as if he is some kind of villain, while his friends praise him. Rowling has explained that he was somewhat of a bully in his youth, but grew out of it and became the man that Harry always believed he was. Number 9. Was Harry truly the chosen one? Many fans say that the chosen one could have easily have been Neville or Harry, but it is important to know that Harry is technically considered the true chosen one simply because of the fact that Voldemort decided he was. Some believe that the chosen one was actually Neville because he is seen to progress a lot throughout the series and he's also the one to kill the snake and stand up to Voldemort near the end of the second wizarding war but you have to remember it has been confirmed that Harry is in fact the chosen one. Hey she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. Number 10. Was Peter Pettigrew a good person. I know that Peter's betrayal towards Lily and James hurt us all, but Rowling has said many times that he was a beloved member of the Marauders. If he wasn't so loved and close to the rest of the gang, then his betrayal would not have been so impractical and hurtful. If he was just a simple member of the group, then what he had have done wouldn't have gone the way that it did. He did once used to be a good person, and he was a main member of the group, and this is something that fans need to remember, even though in the end, he was truly evil. The other arm, Wormtail. Well, there we have it. 10 Harry Potter theories confirmed by JK Rowling. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.